I'll soon forget it. So far between the lines, I'ma write a new set, a new beginning. Reflecting on the times that were that hard. I've fallen down many times, but I got mad hard. Uh, you see, I'm in it to win it. Hey, YouTube, we're back. Mexican Leads Therapy Garage. Back in the office for a new session. Um, hopefully, we get about a good two, three hours in. I want to get my hood sanded with some 80 grit and shot with the epoxy primer. Um, 662, I believe, is the, uh, the part number for the uh, epoxy primer tampo. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll walk over to the table here in a minute. But this is what we got going. We're going to go ahead and knock this down with some 80 grit. I did a second coat with the um, navel jelly because the first coat didn't really clean it off the way I wanted it. It left a few spots here and there. So we did get a second coat of it done. Um, one night late after I got out of work, got that done and situated, cleaned up, blew it all off with air and wiped it down at the same time. So she got really nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done today, hit it with the 80, and then we're gonna um, get that good two coats of epoxy primer on it. Then the trunk, I was able to get that shot in the epoxy primer and let it set for a couple days went over it with some uh, i think it was 180 real quick on a pad and shot it with the 5310 tamco so that's dried up and ready got the doors ready to go as soon as i get this hood done then we're going to go ahead and do the fenders those are next so let's move over here Yeah, that rain's coming down. Big old heavy drops, boy. I'm glad I cut my grass. Sun's beaming nice and bright on one side, and it's really dark and gray on the other side. But that's good. I don't have to fill my pool up. We'll let the rain fill it up. Um, okay. So, I got parts everywhere, man. Oh, yeah, I was able to get my fifth rim painted as well. My homeboy David was able to hook me up with the right paint. When I went in to buy the paint, they sold me base coat. It wasn't the fast dry enamel, so I had to go back up there and get me another quart. Got that painted. We're just letting it dry real good before I get the tire mounted. Actually, I just gotta make time. But here she goes. The HP 662 epoxy primer. 2K epoxy primer. That's what's going on this bad boy next. So Let's hurry up and get everything set up. We'll cut you back on here in a little bit. So it's getting fucked up to the day he lies Six feet deep, dead OD and oh my god, we can't believe it Shit, I can It was right under your nose, it's fucking pitiful Do y'all even care? Why do I ask? It's time to get rid of you So I'ma say this one last thing, alright? Next time you see Timmy, ask him if he's okay Don't just bat an eye, motherfucker Alright, YouTube, we're back Got everything sanded. God, I keep getting caught up in that dang door. Not even really a door, it's a little, my, my curtain. My little paint booth, makeshift paint booth. Okay, so I went ahead and hit everything with 80 grit. I got all the sides, the edges, everything around the hood is totally cleaned. All the little, um, what are them, vents. Um, hell, I don't even know what they're called, vents. On, on the hood the little grates all those are cleaned out inside all the way around I hit all the little spots the low spots the little crevices creases in the hood with um, my little scuff pads on the die grinder 
um, they're not even little scuff pads. They're they're a little coarse. They're not the little grinding discs, but they're this kind of like a Scotch Brite. Just cleans ever all the metal up really good. I went all the way around the edge of the hood. Little creases and dings and dents. So everything's clean, wiped down, wax and grease twice. Um, edges are really nice and clean. So it's ready for primer. I really need to figure out a way to get, I don't want to do it with my phone. I want to have to put my phone in there on the tripod and get to spraying and get all kinds of overspray all over the phone. So I need to figure out a way. I saw, I saw like a life proof case that a company sells. It's supposed to cover the whole phone, but have a real clear view of the um, camera. So you're supposed to be able to take pictures, you know, even underwater with it, but we'll see. Um, I may go ahead and get that and um, hopefully be able to shoot some footage of me actually spraying. So, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, HP 662 Tamco um, DTA epoxy primer mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the gun. We're gonna go ahead and tack rag, tack cloth, the hood, we're gonna shoot it. I'm gonna do two coats, two medium wet coats, and then we're gonna stop for the day. Um, maybe, as far as the hood, it's gonna be done, but I don't know if the storm's gonna come back around. Um, Hopefully it doesn't. If it does, I'm going to hurry up and get my truck back here in the shop. So I need to hurry up and get this thing sprayed. So we're going to cut you off for a little bit and uh, get this thing th get this thing shot. All right, YouTube, we're back. All finished. Paint gun is clean. I'm tired. As you can see, my face is really dirty. Got all this black paint on me. But she's done. The hood looks great. Now we're going to let it dry for a few days. I'm going to get on the internet uh, here in a little bit. As soon as I go in the house, I'm going to take a shower, give me a meal. Then I'm going to go ahead and get on um, Pistoletto's. Uh, Jose Mendoza, I believe his last name is, out in Houston. I'm going to get on there, order me a um, gallon of the 5310 from him. Hopefully it will get here by maybe Thursday, I'm thinking, if he can get it shipped out fast enough. Um, that way... Over the holiday weekend, I can go ahead and put two coats of that on top of this. Um, and then we can let that dry. So, that'll be covered. Ugh, excuse me. I had to close my window real quick. Um, I'm ready to go in the house. It's been a long day. But, productive day. Very productive. So, I feel great. My back is killing me, but that ain't nothing new. I just learned how to go through, push through, and uh, try to get done what I can. And like I said, it lets me know when I need to stop. So it's all good. Let's show you what. We Got two medium wet coats of the epoxy primer. See all the little dings in it, hail dents. It's got a bunch of them. But we're going to make this boy as straight as possible, I hope. I hope I can get it where I want it. And if not, then uh, we'll be hitting Jesse up, Big Monty's, and uh, see if he can get me a hood. Well, I know he can. He's got a ton of Monty parts out there. So, But she came out great, YouTube. So, this session is finished. Um, again, I'm going to keep pushing. So next thing I got on the list is the fenders, and then we're going to do the doors. So one of the two will be done this weekend. Hopefully, maybe both. Maybe I can get the, the hood and the, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, fenders and the doors uh, in primer this weekend. So I got a four-day weekend. I'm going to spend some time with the family. Pretty much just be around the house, do some more things around the house, um, and probably just kick it. So... Again, YouTube, thank you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, your Mexican boy, Mexican Lee. Uh, geez, I'm tired. Excuse me. Mexican Lee's Therapy Garage. We're out.
time I soon forget it. So far between the lines, I'ma write a new set, a new beginning. Reflecting on the times that were that hard. I've fallen down many times, but I got mad hard. Uh, you see, I'm in it to win it. 